Well, as we continue to honor black history on this final day of Black History Month, FBI agent, bomb tech, black woman. Three designations that Special Agent Tiffany Booth wears proudly alongside her badge. She is the first black woman in the agency to ever do it. And it's an honor that's even impressed her. Someone came to me and told me, did you know that you made history? And I was like, me? For someone who thought she'd be a pediatrician. I always had a passion for service and serving my community. And I knew that that's where I ultimately wanted to end up. Special Agent Tiffany Booth doesn't apologize for flashing her badge at barriers. And they said, well, you know, you, you are the first African-American female to become a bomb tech in the FBI. And I was like, no, can't be. Oh, but she is, with six weeks of grueling training that say so. Well, I will tell you there were a lot of days where I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to make it through. Pushing her forward, her promise to herself, and her bomb dog Hunter, who died just two weeks before she moved to Dallas. Prior to coming to the FBI, I was a canine handler, and so I was an explosive detection handler, so me and my dog would go out and we would assist the bomb squad. We would locate any potential devices and stuff, but once we got there, we had to kind of clear out the dodge and call the bomb squad in. So she became the bomb squad, a detail that would detonate her destiny. It motivates me to want to do more, to be more. Like the delicate dance of deactivating a bomb, you need finesse and patience. Initially, when I applied to the FBI, I wasn't accepted um, years back. Um, and then I just continued. I knew that that was a dream of mine and a passion, and I just continued to apply and do what I needed to do. And eventually I got in, and now I'm here, you know, speaking with you about making history, which is still a surprise to me. Her journey was tactical, old school, no connections, and no secret codes. I volunteered to do a ride along with like the local police department. I did a citizen's police academy just to try to get out there and see what it was about before I actually joined. The mission, simple. Do your best, be the best. I consider it an honor. And um, I want to live up to that and continue just to, you know, lead the way for others and pay it forward um, and talk to other people as much as I can, but just know that it doesn't stop here. Leading the way for Booth were women like Sylvia Mathis. She was a lawyer from North Carolina and the first black woman to become a special agent when she joined the FBI in 1976. Back then, the FBI had about 8,500 agents. Only 40 of them were women. We just celebrated the 50th anniversary of um, female agents in the FBI, and I think back and I'm like, man, you know, you hear the stories of these other women and what they had to go through and endure. And you know, you just consider it an honor and privilege to have gotten this far and come here every day. Special Asian Booth is so humble. She didn't even want to talk about all her credentials, but she is a bomb tech on top of working on her regular duties as an agent, sometimes with the DEA on certain ops. She tells me the agency always looking for more recruits from all walks of life to join the FBI.